You guys ever go buy a, a project car or truck and it doesn't run like a field find or a barn find or, or just some junk that doesn't run sitting in somebody's alley <clears throat> and you don't know how you're going to load it up. Sure, you can call up a couple buddies and everybody can go down there and they give you a hand to push it on. Sometimes that works. But what if it doesn't? Let me show you what I've been doing over the years. Um, one of the usual things I used to do, not so much anymore, but I used to use what they call a chain fall hoist or lever hoist or some people just it's just a it's just a almost like a come along and it's, this one here is a three quarter ton so so what is that uh, um, uh, 1500 pounds or so so this one will it's it's plenty to, to pull it you know up a up a up a trailer uh, it's just rolling resistance you're working against um, you're not trying to suspend it off here of course the problem is you, know, you only got you know what is it three feet here maybe four so you you hoist it on you get it up a few feet it, you run out of this you got to chalk it up and back it off and reset everything and get some straps and do it again in fact I've even done it with uh, ratchet straps you know, you get a couple ratchet straps, a couple guys, and you're up both working them. You get it up, you chalk it, reset it. It can work. It's slow. Um, it's not great. And it's not a lot of fun. If it's hot out, it sucks. If it's cold out, it sucks. If it's nice out and you're having a couple beers, hey, no problem. But that's, uh, it's, a, it's an inexpensive way to do it, that's for sure. Another good way that I've used quite a bit actually is, uh, I don't know if you guys have seen this. This is a, a drill winch. This particular one is made by Warren Winch. It's a 750 pounder. You just, uh, you simply take your drill and you hook it up to here, tighten it up, and you use your drill as your, your motor for the hoist. I think this one came with 30 feet um of rope i'm not too sure i'd have to look it up but uh this i've loaded up i loaded up my panel truck um i loaded up uh, a few c10s uh 60 to 66 chevy trucks uh, uh 72 chevy half ton this thing will get them up there for sure and i know you're probably thinking 750 pounds that's that's not enough and you're right i I always use a snatch block with it. Um, run the snatch block, that doubles at 1,500 pounds, right? And if that's still not enough, you can you can always double it again. You know, the more snatch blocks you use, of course, every time you use snatch block, you double, double, double. Um, so that's a good one, except when it isn't. So when that does give out, it has a it has a tendency to just kind of, um, the, the drill will skip just like that. So when you're out there and the, the drill skipping, man, that's a bad day. So there's gotta be other choices too. Well, one that I like is a, uh, a pull saw. That's what this is, a pull saw, it's by Warren. It's a thousand pound winch. You know, the downside is, you know, you need power. So if you're doing a field find or a barn find, sure, you could bring a compressor or whatever, or a, sorry, a generator. That's not likely. But if you're getting it out of somebody's alley, you might be able to run an extension cord to the house. If it's close enough to power, this will get you there. In fact, typically I'll pick up um, my projects. I'll pick them up with the drill winch which is uh, usually works okay. But when I get them home, I unload them with this guy just because there's no messing around. Just plug it in, it's zippity doo -dah. It, it yanks it off the trailer, tucks it up nice and tight beside the garage for me. That's a win. However, I decided to do something different. 
uh, mile marker has come out with their, they call it uh, the Rhino Pull 1000. I don't know if you guys can see that on there, okay? Hold on a second here. I need to change up. So yeah, mile marker. Now mile marker uh, is a is a company that's been doing winches for a lot of years. They've been doing military winches for over 30 years. Um, so they're not like new to the market. Um, this is a, what they call a Rhino Pull 1000. It's made by mile marker. It is a, what is it? A 24 volt, I think it is. Um, sorry, 25.5 volt. Uh, rechargeable battery so this guy is 1,000 pound of course you know me I'm gonna do a snatch block on it regardless so now I have a 2,000 pound winch um, this winch is let me just flick it on for you do I got it on? I got it off so this winch has a synthetic line i don't know if you can see that there yeah it's got a synthetic line and it's 30 feet of a synthetic line so that's kind of a big deal because while my uh my worn poles all is nice and handy you know, i'm close to the house because it's the same rating it's a thousand pounds as well but it's only got half the half the length of line so it does double the length of line all the pulling power and the beauty part is you know, it's rechargeable i don't even need power so i'll be honest with you i haven't used this yet my next truck i pick up i will use this i will load it i'll make you guys a video and uh Hopefully I can get rid of all my other winches and come along and just use this guy. Um, when I'm loading these things up, you know, of course, you always, you always want to use a chain. And one of my other big deals is this J-hook. You can, this J-hook's rated at 5,500 pounds or whatever. You can pick this up at Harbor Freight, Princess Auto, Canadian Tire, you know, just about anywhere. It's a pretty common piece. Um, it's nice to hook around an axle, rear axle, and doesn't seem to catch the brake lines, right? Whereas if you put a chain around or a strap around a rear axle, it seems to always pinch that rear brake line. So, get yourself one of these guys. It's good to have. Get yourself a nice big snatch block. If you're worried about it still being too much, you can get another snatch block and a pulley to come back, right? And use... Use, 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 use good hardware, use good shackles, so on and so forth. That's what I do. What you do, I don't know. But I'm telling you, whether you want to spend the money and get something like this, I think that was about 500 bucks. I, I just got it. In fact, I just unboxed it. Um, oh yeah, another cool feature about this thing is it actually has a remote control. That's kind of neat. I haven't tried it yet, but uh, yeah, it's got a remote control. Uh, so kind of gets you out of the line of fire. Just kind of a nice feature, to be honest with you. Um, it's got a nice long line for it too. I don't know how many feet is on that. Probably 10 or 12 maybe, judging by what I got there. Um, yeah. So there you got it. That's what I do. I do. That'll be my new my new go to. But believe me, I've used that uh, that uh, chain fall more than anything else. It works. It's not great, but I'm telling you, it'll work. It'll get you there if you need to. Uh, save a few dollars. Uh, spend your money on the project car, and not how you get them up. But if you're like me and you're doing this a lot. Check out the, my, the mile marker, Rhino Pull 1000. It just might be what you need. Hopefully it is what I need. We'll see. I ain't getting rid of anything yet. Uh, if you haven't uh, subscribed, think about doing so. 
and I'll catch you on the next one, which will probably be next week. All right, thanks.